This little creature is called a Degu. This one's one of our Degu girls, her name is Loki. Now, compared to, say, dogs, cats, rabbits or hamsters, Degus are fairly new to being kept as a pet. They haven't been domesticated for a very long time compared to these other species. Degus have, however, been gaining a lot of popularity as a pet. And it shows. The shelters, where I live at least, the ones that accept Degus are full of them. So, it probably wouldn't be bad to just share my experience in owning Degus and what exactly you need to keep your little one happy. I think this is what gets underestimated most when people see a little fluff ball like that. What are Degus? Degus are small rodents, they're native to Chile, and they're mostly active during the day. They will take naps, but most of their sleeping is done at night. They're closely related to guinea pigs and chinchillas. And just like them, they mostly eat plant materials. Degus will, however, have a snack of insects every now and then. Now, there's a couple of important things you need to know before getting a Degu as a pet. First of all, Degus shouldn't be housed alone. Degus are also very sensitive to wrong diets. So you need to do your research on what you can and can't give them beforehand. And then, a very big one, is that Degus need a lot of space. Not only do they need a very large cage, but they also really appreciate a lot of time to run free. Degus are very kind and curious animals, and if their needs are being met, you will have a best friend for a long time, since Degus aren't as short-lived as most rodents. They will live up to 8 years in captivity. So one last thing that I really think I need to mention, and might be a shock for some people, is that these fluffy animals are generally not the kind of pet that likes to be picked up or pet a lot. They definitely want to bond with you, but they want to have control of where they stand and go and walk. They don't like feeling stuck, like they don't have control of the situation, but given the chance they will definitely crawl on your lap or in your neck for some cuddles, if you let them decide to do that. Some of these things I said are definitely going to depend on the character of your Daegu. And there might be something I missed, so feel free to leave that in the comments. Generally speaking, Daegus make great pets for informed people with lots of space and time for them. Thank you for watching as I try to figure out what I'm doing with this channel. <laughs> Bye!